Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am Ariana and I am the therapist next door. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about an experience I had recently, which on the surface has a lot to do with my yoga slash exercise practice, but at the core, what I think it's really about is about using your intuition and mindfulness to make decisions in your life. I have been a member at Core Power Yoga for, I think it's going on three years now. I live in Los Angeles, but I know that they have different locations in different states. Basically, it's a studio where they have hot yoga classes. I've been doing yoga. I honestly lost count. I think it's like over 15 years now, um, but I've been doing hot yoga specifically when I joined Core Power, which as I said, I think it was about three years ago. When I started doing hot yoga, I really felt like it kind of leveled up my yoga practice at that time. It was like more challenging. I was feeling like I was getting like deeper into some of my poses and so I kind of really became a big fan of it and I really liked the options that I had at Core Power. Not only did they have the hot yoga classes, they had like three different kind of classes that I like, but they also had different locations within my area. So there was like at least, I would say three to four locations within a 10 mile radius that I could go to, which I think is pretty fantastic. I still think it's a great studio and a great place to work out. It started happening for me recently. I was having issues with the schedule. I wasn't connecting with a lot of the instructors and something else which I had been kind of feeling for a while is that I didn't love the teaching style the way that they run their classes for me there's a lot of repetition to it and as a yogi I've always preferred a vinyasa flow but I like it to be very creative I remember when I used to be a member at yoga works a while back there were some really cool teachers and their flows would be so long that you would literally almost be like doing half you know your left side or your right side for half of class and I don't know I really liked it because I felt like I could just let go and not think and just listen to the instruction but still really enjoy that process those were a few of the things that I was starting to experience I also moved to another part of the city and the studio that I go to they do have parking but I have to pay for parking which was, was a little bit different than some of the other studios I was used to going to so there was just a few things I was starting to notice that I wasn't loving and I started to think about the possibility of freezing or ending my membership and honestly the first thing that came up for me for whatever reason is I kind of started to feel guilty about that I started to feel like this kind of blind loyalty to core power you know I'm paying them like over $150 a month but I don't know why I just felt like this allegiance or I felt like I would be like betraying them if I did that so I think just bringing some mindfulness to that if, if you might be wired that way too is really important and just understanding okay well why do I feel that way and is it still appropriate in this situation so I think that I tend to kind of be you know a loyal person that's probably just kind of part of my personality one of my traits there's nothing wrong with that but I think it's important for me to bring a little bit more mindfulness in where I am applying that value just across the board so in this case it's not like I'm betraying a studio you know they offer a service I pay for it and if there's something else that I want to explore I can do that so it was really as simple as just starting to be more mindful about some of the feelings I was starting to feel kind of getting less excited when I would look at the schedule and also bringing more mindfulness to what was holding me back from making a change. So what I decided to do was I decided to go back to class pass. And as I was kind of connecting those dots, I realized, you know what, this is kind of what I've always done. Early on, I realized I did not like going to the gym. I just did not like that gym culture. So whenever class pass came out a long time ago, I started using it and I really just fell in love with going to studios. It's more of a boutique experience or usually cuter. I love classes. I like being able to go and not think and be told what to do. And just, you know, I also like, I wouldn't say the competition, but I feel like one of the reasons why I prefer not to work out at home is because I, I don't know, something about being with other people or being watched or being seen just makes me perform at a higher level. Just for a long time, I've been just a studio gal. Um, not necessarily limited to yoga. I would 
to do like bar workouts or Pilates or different things like that, some circuit training, things of that nature. And so I realized, wait a minute, this is what I did before I landed on yoga works. So for a long time, I would just go to different studios, really fell in love with yoga works. I lived in Studio City at the time. I really liked a lot of their teachers and all of that. I realized, you know, this just might be kind of how I am. I really enjoy something for a few years. And I get a lot out of it, but there comes a time where maybe I outgrow it or maybe I'm just kind of drawn to variety and I'm just ready to move on to the next thing. So that's another other key piece that I really wanna kind of touch on and normalize in this video, which is that it's perfectly normal. In fact, it's a good thing to grow and make changes in your growth, whether it's, you know, with where you choose to work out or any other choices in your life. It might be related to where you work, your place of employment, relationships, different things like that. Like it's okay to outgrow a place or it's okay to want something different. I don't know, that just helped me when I started to connect those dots. Oh, I, I did this before and it's okay to be a member at a studio or wherever for a few years and it's also okay to move on after that period of time if you don't feel like it's no longer serving you 100%. I basically, I joined ClassPass again and I've really been enjoying that experience so far. Let's jump into some pros and cons first about either being a member at a studio versus uh, class pass. I would say some of the pros of being a member at a studio is there's first of all a sense of community. If you've been going somewhere a lot, they know your name, like you feel comfortable, you know where you're gonna park, you know what to expect. There's a sense of familiarity, whether it's with the lockers or with the amenities that they offer with teachers, with classes, with schedule. Any sort of familiarity sometimes can be a huge pro when it comes to just simplifying and streamlining, you know, your fitness routine. I feel like a con would be, it can be limiting. You know, you're obviously limited to whatever classes they offer there, whatever schedule they offer there, whatever teachers teach there. If your studio offers, you know, a lot of variety or they happen to have exactly what you like, then that might not be a con for you but definitely for me that's kind of what was starting to happen with something like class pass which by the way if you're not familiar with class pass this is not a, an advertisement or it's not a promotion i wish it was because i'm basically advertising for them for free class pass is basically an app on your phone and i think there might be some other ones too so i don't think this is the only one but it's an app on your phone you have to pay and you get a certain amount of points so there's a range where you can you know pay i think as little as like under 50 dollars all the way up to closer to 200 dollars a month really depending on how much you're going to use the app and how much you're going to be working out some of the studios do have higher points if it's kind of like a more nicer or high-end boutique type of experience another cool thing about class pass is they also have other services on there like beauty services massage sauna things like that i haven't tapped into that this time around yet but i think that's a cool offering because what happens is like let's say for a month you don't go work out as much or you go on vacation you are allowed to roll over I think your points until the next month there's a cap to that but it's just a good option to have and then sometimes you can kind of save up those points and use it for a beauty treatment which i think is cool i just want to make sure so class pass what it is is you kind of take a survey of where what kind of workouts you like obviously you put in your location and at any point in time you can open that app up look at a schedule and it's going to show you all the classes that are available in your area you sign up and you go to the studio and if it's your first time there, they might have you sign something, but otherwise you just participate in the class. The pros of class pass are just the endless variety. If you live in a big city like me, I live in Los Angeles, literally there is not a shortage of studios. I could go to a boxing class, Pilates, hot yoga, regular yoga, so many different offerings in my area. So if you live in a big city, it's kind of something that I think is probably even more beneficial to have a class pass membership. You know, obviously the other pros are that you just get to see all these cool studios. You get to see inside of them. You get to experience different teachers, different classes, different styles, different amenities. My gosh, I've been loving the cold towel at the end of some of these classes where they're like soaked in like essential oils like lavender, eucalyptus, and just feels like such a treat and some of the studios have like 
different props. I went to a studio where they had a gong and so it was kind of like a sound bath in addition to the yoga class. I went back to more of a traditional yoga studio which really reminded me of some of my yoga roots and why I got into yoga in terms of like the mind, body, spirit connection. So that was really nice of not only looking at it as a workout, but just also something really spiritual for myself and, and for my mental health. It's just really the variety and being able to experience all these different studios and a lot of them in this area are just um, really nice. So that's been a really good treat. I would say in terms of cons would be, you know, the lack of familiarity, the lack of a sense of community. If you're going to a few different places, obviously they're, they're not gonna get to know you as well as like a home studio would get to know you. So that could be one of the cons. Another con I would say for me, this might not be for everybody, is that I've noticed that since I switched to ClassPass, I haven't been as consistent with working out as I was when I had core power. I feel like when I had core power, I was a little bit more on a schedule and they had these three different classes that I like to take and I would kind of try to hit up one of those per week. So it was kind of a good measurement and I'm typically somebody that works out about two to three times a week in addition to my daily walks that I take. That's something I'm gonna have to work a little bit harder on. I'm still like exploring right now so I'm enjoying going to a lot of the different new studios as I mentioned before. I would say maybe like in a month or two I'm probably gonna be a little bit more settled in on what my favorite places are and get a little bit more familiarized with their schedule and their calendars and their offerings and hopefully get a little bit more consistency see there but other than that I, I don't really have any other cons at this time the whole point of this video this experience I wanted to share is really to circle back around to being mindful and you know really honing in on your intuition when you start kind of get feeling like I don't know it's hard to even put words to it but it's just like something's not right could be very small could be obviously bigger in this case it's something a little bit more minor but just something was starting to feel a little off tune into that and just maybe observe do some active reflection there and bring some mindfulness to whatever decision you're gonna make and whatever pops up like for me that weird kind of blind loyalty and guilt came up and it was just important for me to take a look at that and really not be automatic or unconscious and letting that hold me back, but really explore that and figure out if it was something that was useful to me or not. Hopefully this was helpful in some way. It might be related to your own fitness routine. Maybe it's gonna inspire you to try class pass or maybe it'll inspire you to sign up at your favorite studio and enjoy that sense of community. But regardless, I would really love to hear from you guys. If you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and do that like this video if it brought any value, but more importantly, comment. Let me know what kind of videos you are wanting. I'm a therapist, this obviously, it doesn't substitute therapy, but I really want to help. That's why I'm here. So if there's anything that maybe you have a question on or any other things that you would want me to talk about, just please, please, please leave it in the comments so we can engage and I can bring those videos to you. So I will see you soon. Authentically yours, Ariana.